In the next couple of videos, you're going to learn how to build CryptoGPT, a streamlit application that uses Langchain and ChatGPT in order to analyze Twitter sentiment from people that you want. So in this case, we are having, we have already added Michael Saylor, Bob Lucas, and CZ Binance. And on the right, you can see the sentiment that is provided here by date. So first you can have a look at the individual tweets that we've downloaded. And next you can see the chart itself. So this is the sentiment. You can see that different people are actually having different sentiment right here. And you can hide some of the parts or some of the examples. So for example, you can just look at the overall sentiment and the sentiment goes from zero, where zero means extremely bearish to 100, where it means that the people are extremely bullish in this case. And you can again see different people right here. And you can even have a look at the data in a data frame format for the individual people that you've wanted. Of course, you can also add some Twitter people that you want. Let's say Richard Hart win. So this is the Twitter handle that you need to add. So this will go ahead and run the, all of the pre-processing part using Langchain and ChatGPT. And then it's going to analyze the sentiment of the people. And you can see that we've added actually Richard Hart win in red right here. Again, you can see that the table here has sentiment and some of the dates are missing. And you can open this again, just have a look at uh, Richard Hart sentiment from the past three days. Also, you can have a look at the table right here. Hey everyone, my name is Vedanin, and in this video, we're going to start with the CryptoGPT project. We are going to use the Tweety library in order to download some tweets. We're going to clean up the text and then convert them into a data frame. Let's get started. A complete text tutorial and source code will be available on ML Expert for ML Expert subscribers, and it will be part of the prompt engineering guide right here within projects. And here I'm going to add CryptoGPT, Crypto Twitter sentiment analysis. So please consider joining ML Expert Pro. For the scraping of tweets, I'm going to use the Tweety library, which allows us to scrape tweets without using the Twitter API. So they are saying that the library is working with the front-end API that is reverse engineered using Tweety. And this is pretty much the documentation that we are going to need in order to scrape some tweets using Tweety. I have a brand new project opened up in VS Code. And here you can see that I have this settings file Within it, I have just black as a formatter and then I sort in order to sort the imports. And this is pretty much what we have in the settings file along with formatting on safe. Other than that, I have this flake 8 file which specifies the number of maximum characters on a line, 120. And then I have this Python version and you can see down here that I'm using 3.11.3. .3. So this is the version that we're going to use. Let's start by installing some of the dependencies that we're going to use, or we are going to install all of them. First, I'm going to install black and I sort. And these are going to be used just for the code formatting. Then we're going to use Langchain, OpenAI, Pandas, Plotly, and then Tweety-NS. Let's run through this. Now that I have everything installed, I'm going to show you how you can use Tweety in order to load some tweets. And it's pretty easy. We just need to do an import from Tweety.bot. Import the Twitter client. And I'm going to call this a Twitter client. From it, I'm going to get the tweets. And in order to get the tweets, we need to call Twitter underscore client get tweets. And here you must put the handle from Twitter. And I'm going to call Elon Musk here. And if you just go and print the tweets, let's run this. You're going to see that this is not actually the result that you want. So this is an object called user tweets 
for some user ID, and then this is the count of tweets that this is scraping thus far. Not exactly what we want. So let's iterate over this. And first we are going to take the tweet text and then let's say the tweet ID and then add another line here. So if we run now, you see that these are the actual tweets along with their ID. So the first thing that you see here is that we have these URLs, which of course are not going to be very helpful when we are passing those to ChatGPT. Uh, we are just going to use some tokens, which are actually quite precious when we want to have a lot of data passed in onto ChatGPT due to the token constraints or the number of token constraints. So I'm going to remove those URLs and also I'm going to replace all of the new lines, for example, right here, with something that is going to be just a single space instead of these new lines. But I'm going to keep the hashtags. So how we're going to do this? Well, I'm going to use the regular expression library from Python and I'm going to import it. So I'm going to write this function called clean tweet and this is going to take a tweet which is going to be actually the tweet text and I'm going to return the text itself. So let's just call this text. Here I'm going to first substitute all of the HTTP with nothing. All right, so this is correct. And then I'm going to do pretty much the same thing for all triple W's. And finally, I'm going to replace all of the spaces, including the new lines. with just a single space. And you can see that the formatting is actually working when I save. So this is pretty good from black. All right, so let's clean this tweet. And let's just for the sake of it, say dirty. This will be the uncleaned or dirty version of the tweet. And this is going to be the clean one. Let's uh, clear this and run the function. Okay, so you can see that we have some examples of cleaned up. So you can see that the URLs are now gone. And also the new lines are now gone as well, replaced with just a single space. So this is the cleanup of the tweets that we're going to do. But in order to use this information, I'm going to have to write another function, which is going to get just the tweets and convert them into a data frame. So this will make it a bit easier to work with the tweets when we are providing the prompt to ChatGPT. So this function, I'm going to call it create data frame from tweets. And this is going to get a list of tweets. And in order for this to work, I need to import from tweety.types in tweet. And then from typing, I need to import also list. And this is going to require also pandas data frame. Yeah, this is going to return the data frame. And what we are going to do here is to create a dictionary from the tweets. Let me clear this. We're going to create a dictionary from the tweets. And from these tweets, I'm going to so for each tweet, I'm going to save some data in a dictionary, and then I'm going to convert this into a data frame. Also, I'm going to replace 
or cut out all of the tweets that are past seven days since this is these are the only tweets that we're going to use in order to visualize the sentiment for the uh, Twitter authors. So let's create this function or write it out. I'm going to create these rows which are going to be essentially the data for the tweets and then for each tweet I'm going to clean it by calling the clean tweet and if the text is empty I'm going to skip this tweet since uh, we can have tweets with just a new array or something like that this is something that we are not going to need so here I'm going to get the ID of the tweet, then the text. Yeah, then the author, which is going to be tweet author username. So this is the Twitter handle, then the date. And I'm going to take the tweet date and I'm going to call the date function on that since this is a date time. Then create it at, which is going to be the, just the tweet date. And then the number of views for the tweet. All right. And let's just for now return this as a data frame and try out the function. Let's see what we have thus far. Uh, so after these tweets are complete, let's just print the create data frame from tweets and just pass in the tweets. All right. I'm going to clear this up and run the script. Let's see what the date frame, or what type of data frame we get just from that. And yeah. So this is the data frame. It's not very pretty since we're actually using just the terminal in order to see what we get. But you can see that we have the text, the author, the date created at, and then the number of views along with the ID of the tweet. And this is pretty great, but I want to have this date and this, yeah, I'm going to have to cut out the date from here. So also I need to specify the columns. Yeah, in the order that I want. So yeah, I'm going to, to do that. Let's continue with the data frame. And uh, yeah, so this is the data frame and then I want to set an index of ID in place. Yeah, this is correct. And if the data frame is empty, I want to return it. And just in case this is empty, uh, I need to pass in the columns. And these are the columns that I'm going to use. ID, text, author, date. Yeah, created that and views. But I'm going to pass in the create at, at last place. Since this is the least important. Let's do this here as well. Okay, so we have the columns even if the rows are empty. And then I'm setting the index. And if all of this is empty, I'm going to return an empty, empty data frame, but with the columns as well and the index. So the last thing that I want to do is to actually cut out the seven day or tweets that are before seven days. And for that, I need to do another import from date time. Yeah, date time. And the cutoff itself is going to be based on a delta and the delta is going to be of seven days, of course. So let's filter the data frame. So I'm going to use the created at dt date. And I want this to be greater than the current date minus 
the time delta of seven day. So this will get just the last seven days of data from the tweets. And here, yeah, so I, I don't think that uh, the tweets from Elon Musk are going beyond that, but this will take care of, it, of that. And finally, I want all of the tweets to be sorted by created that. And I want the last or the first one to be the most or the newest one. So let's see if we run this, what we get. Is it something different? Yeah. So yeah, everything seems to be working all right. 16, the first tweet, and then everything from that below. So this looks pretty good thus far. In this video, we've seen how you can use Tweety in order to get some Twitter data. We've seen how you can clean up the tweet texts and then how you can use the created tweets in order to convert them into a data frame. And this data frame is going to be used in the next video where we're going to visualize it using Streamlit. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Also join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down below in order to further discuss this project. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.